Today we are going to discuss source free parallel RLC circuit. Here is a resistor and an inductor parallel to that resistor and here is a capacitor. So this is the basic circuit with resistor R, inductor L and capacitor C and these three are in parallel. So here is the direction of current flow. Now here voltage at this node is equal to V and here the inductor current is flowing that is denoted by I naught that is initial inductor current and the polarities will be plus minus here with the voltage V and similarly here it will be plus minus with the voltage V. Now in this parallel circuit the given parameters are R is equal to 2 ohms, L is equal to 0 0.4 Henry's and C is equal to 25 millifarads and the initial value of voltage is given as 0 and the initial value of current is given as 50 milliamperes and we have to find Vt value of voltage for T greater than 0 so when the time is greater than 0 we have to find the value of voltage okay first of all we will find the values of alpha and omega nodes so alpha is equal to 1 over 2 rc as we have seen previously so 1 over 2 into r is equal to 2 ohms and c is equal to 25 and we can write milli into exponential minus 3 so this will make 10 and omega node is equal to 1 over lc under root and that is 1 over 0 0.4 into 25 into exponential minus 3 and that makes 10 so from here we have seen that alpha is equal to 10 and omega naught is also equal to 10. So these two values are equal. We know that when alpha is equal to omega naught then the response is critically damped. So we have a critically damped response. Therefore the corresponding response in terms of voltage is equal to A1 plus A2 into t exponential minus alpha t so this will be our corresponding equation and we can call this as equation 1 we have to find the values of a1 and a2 at time t is equal to 0 if we put time t is equal to 0 in this equation 1 then the above equation will be v0 is equal to a1 plus a2 into 0 exponential minus alpha into t when we put t here then it will become 0 and we know that e0 is equal to 1 okay and from here v at time t is equal to 0 we have already this value v0 is equal to 0 so that is a1 plus a2 will be multiplied by 0 and it will become 0 so a1 we have is equal to 0 so we have found one value now we will find the value of a2 Okay, now we will write down the equations which will be used further in the solution of this uh, problem. I have written the values of parameters that we are going to use further in the solution where a1 is equal to 0 and we have to find a2 now. To find a2, we can apply KCL here at this node A. Let it call node A. Now apply KCL at node A. From here we can see from this node the current is going in outward direction. So all the currents are in outgoing direction. So here the current is IR. IR plus here the current is IL. Plus here the current is IC. That is equal to 0. So IR will be equal to I is equal to V over R by Ohm's law. And the current through inductor is I naught as we can see here. And the current through capacitor is C D V over D T. This we know this from the previous equations. Now if we rearrange this equation then it will become something like this. C D V over D T is equal to minus V over R plus I naught we can have the value of dv over dt here if we take capacitor here so minus v over r plus i naught divided by c capacitor so at time 
t is equal to 0 this equation will become dv0 over dt is equal to minus v0 over r plus i node 0 divided by c so if we put the values here so v0 is equal to 0 so 0 over something will be equal to 0 plus i naught here the initial value is equal to 50 milliamperes over c is equal to 25 millifarads so milli will cancel out with milli and 25 1 and 2 so we have the value of dv0 over dt is equal to minus 2 sorry here minus sign will come as it is and this will equal to minus 2 and the sign will be volts over second now if we take derivative of this equation 1 then we can have dvt over dt here and we can put this value in equation 1 it's the same as we take derivative of two terms that are multiplying with each other so this can become our first term and this will be our second term so if we take derivative of first term then a1 derivative of a1 will be equal to 0 plus a2t will become a2 and second term alpha minus so the exponential minus alpha t will become as it is plus first term will come as it is a1 plus a2 into t and we will take derivative of second term that will be equal to alpha exponential minus alpha t into minus alpha okay let me remove the above portion here we have dv t over dt let's simplify it further dv t over dt that is equal to exclude this zero and we will have a2 exponential minus alpha t this term will become minus alpha exponential minus alpha t into a1 plus a2 t so at time t is equal to 0 dv put t is equal to 0 dv0 over dt is equal to here a2 exponential when we put 3 is equal to 0 here then it will become e raised to power minus 0 and it is equal to 1 plus minus alpha e raised to power minus 0 and a1 is equal to 0 we know from here plus a2 here t will be equal to 0 and this term will become 0 and this 0 will multiply by this term then this whole term will become 0 so we are left with this term now dv0 over dt is equal to minus 2 so minus 2 is equal to a2 let's write it here a2 is equal to minus 2 now put the values of a1 and a2 in this equation vt is equal to a1 is equal to 0 plus a2 is equal to minus 2 minus 2 and t will come as it is and exponential minus alpha here is equal to 10 and t so vt is equal to minus 2t exponential minus 10t volts so this was the solution and it was asked in the question